Hi. I'm sure it's not just me going through this, but at the moment I feel like I just cannot get dressed. I will just sit and stare at my wardrobe and just feel really uninspired and not motivated. And then it makes it really hard to like leave the house because I just have no idea what to put on. I feel like this usually happens around transitional season periods. Even though the temperature has dropped by a few degrees again, it just feels kind of wrong to wear like fully autumn winter stuff. And it's just too soon to start wearing your spring summer wear. So what I normally do when I am lacking inspiration or motivation, I'll just have like a big deep dive online. I always look to Instagram and Pinterest and TikTok for inspiration. So after doing some research and having a bit of an online deep dive and finding some inspo, that usually will lead me to think about what trends it is in my world that I'm really into at the moment. What do I have in my wardrobe that I can use to recreate that trend? Or what is it I'm missing to complete those looks that I've like pictured? And before I get into this, I want to give credit where credit is due because I love watching these types of videos on YouTube already and the inspiration behind them obviously comes from my friend Susie, Susie Lola, Lainey Ozark and Ali Vera. I really love her YouTube at the moment. Last weekend I was already in that headspace of not being able to get dressed so I made loads of plans to go vintage shopping with my friend Susie. We went to Portobello on the Friday and then Peck and Carboot on the Sunday and let me tell you Peck and Carboot just slapped. It was so good like the TikToks don't lie. Do you like walking that um, Oh, come on. Those are like the boot version of the little heels that I got. And they're so cute. I'm obsessed. Like witch vibes. Yeah, I just wish it was a bit smaller. Brandy. Brandy girl, cool. The colours, yes. Do I, sit there? <laughs> I like burgundy and navy as like a combo at the moment. Love this. Get my, get my magic bike out. <laughs> I think this is cute. Oh but... my god! <gasps> what are the chances of that? I really like it. I like it. I think it's fun. Yeah. Romeo and Michelle vibes. Yeah. <laughs> get in there, girl. That's okay. Fine. I really like it. Yeah, I really like it. Yeah, I think it matches the, the um, socks, yeah. Susie with the shirt. I don't know if this is a vibe or not. Love it. Love it. No, I know. I know you don't like cottage core shirt. It's. <laughs> yeah. I'd be happy for you to get it. I've blown it for like half now, I can't let it get too big. Seven and a half. Yeah, love. With this jacket, it's giving farmer. Hurry, I just, I just came out the country. It's really nice with your hair, your skin tone. They look that like good. Oh, okay. I really like them. Portobello on Friday was okay. The weather was a bit grey and rainy. I like wasn't feeling very, I don't know. I just wasn't in the right mood. I think Susie was the same. We didn't also have as much luck as we do normally. I bought some trousers that I was actually really peeved about when I got home because the zip was broken and the eyelets were broken and I tried them on and they were just kind of like slipping down as I walked in them. I also bought this leather skirt and it said it was a UK 12 on the label. I took it home and it didn't even go up past my knees. It was tiny. I got Susie to try it on and it was tight on Susie so that was really annoying so we're gonna have to sell that. The trousers I actually tried on again this morning and I just took them to go and get fixed but I actually do like them so I do feel better about that purchase now. We went to Peck and Kabu. it was the first time we'd ever been. We paid £5 for early entry which I actually do think was a bit of a shout because it was nice and calm and I didn't feel really panicked whereas I think at 10.30 when it was £1 entry for everyone there was just like flocks of people coming in and it just makes you feel a bit more stressed. Within the first like half hour 
what I didn't really find anything I liked and Susie had found loads and I was a bit like oh today's gonna be a flop like what's going on right now we turned the corner and yeah I just started finding things I found this jumper this was like the first thing that I bought then I found these trousers they were two pounds and I honestly love them and I realized that I could like fold them up and wear them as capris or I can wear them long and like open also they're dusty pink and I just love dusty pink at the moment I found this other top that kind of went with the trousers slash my jumper and from that same lady I bought these Melissa opening ceremony shoes they are actually a size too small for me but I put them on and my toes aren't dangling over the edge so we're all good and then I also got this hat this hat was three pounds I think I only spent about £35 altogether, which I just think is great considering I bought like five things. Whereas at Portobello, I feel like £35 might get me one or two things. And don't get me wrong, you can find steals and bargains at Portobello, but I just think at Car Boots, like everything's just a lot cheaper. Anyway, going back to what it is that is like giving me inspiration at the moment and trends that I'm loving. The first thing I want to talk about is track jackets. Track jackets are like perfect for transitional seasons. And they're just like a fun sporty layering piece and you can even put coats on top of them if you want. And I I guess they're kind of playing into that whole bloke core thing at the moment. I had my eye on this track jacket that I found on Depop and then I realized I actually knew the seller so I bought it from her and I'm really excited for it to arrive. And also Peachy Den just released two track jackets, their Russo jacket. I just bought the warm-up jacket because I really liked the color scheme and it kind of went with a lot of things in my wardrobe. Um, it's also a super warm track jacket that's why I also wanted the other one. They're also completely different vibes and would go with very different things in my wardrobe so I felt like I could justify both purchases the next thing i want to talk about is short sleeve track jackets i saw one on depop that i liked recently and i think the reason i liked it was because it was kind of in some way giving paloma world and they kind of have a short sleeve track jacket i am going through a really big like paloma wool obsession again right now and if i had the budget i'd be buying everything from them because i just love that brand they have these like lace up kind of chunkier mary jane ballet flat type things you might have actually seen Seen them on Limic in this picture. So I went on a hunt for some chunkier lace up or tie up ballet flat shoes that were like a bit sporty or a bit Mary Jane inspired. And I realized that those vintage sketches shoes were like a really similar type of silhouette and shape and just vibe so i recently bought these on ebay and i'm really excited for them to come down and i also kind of want like a darker pair so i think i'm gonna get a brown pair and i'm probably gonna have to buy it before i put this video out because if one of you find the shoe that i want in the size that i want on ebay murder on my mind i recently bought these lace up top shop ballet shoes on vintage i think they're like a few years old top shop not recent top shop but the sole is just really like a thin and flimsy classic top shop the next thing that i really want to find and add to my wardrobe but i'm struggling and i don't really understand why is some mint lace that like minty poster girl unitard thing that kylie jenner wore that kind of color in some lace bits for me that's really just what i would like so if you see anything like that please send it to me tag me in it because that's really what i want right now on a recent peachy den shoot they used these lace like leg warmers so i'd love some knee high socks or like leg warmers in mint lace as well another lace related trend that i'm loving right now is contrast colored lace i think that valiant studios do this really well i love all this stuff it's so cute this bikini is like goals but again it's just a little bit out of my price bracket another brand that has just come to mind and i honestly don't know how you say it ecatsalen so over. probably not right but i think the like different mixing of colors and shapes and textures with the like mohair and the lace is just so cool and i would love to own a piece two more lace things and i'm done with lace lace sleeves just like lace bolero so cute what a fun styling accessory again just elevates an outfit and then the last thing was a lace scrunchie i hate velvet scrunchies but scrunchies made from other materials or like interesting materials like i love the good squish scrunchies so hopefully she would come up with a lace one I don't know. Sorry, my battery died. The next thing I want to talk about is capris and jorts and like below the knee length trousers. This is something that I would just love to wear. And I'm just going to stop listening to my insecurities. Tiny violin. I know they don't suit me. They don't suit my body type because I've got wide calves and I've got thick thighs. But I just really want to wear them. I love the way they look with knee high boots. But that's obviously not going to happen for me because I can't ever find boots that fit around my calves. But I do have some capri trousers that I love that I'm going to bring out when it starts to get a bit warmer I'm just gonna suck it up and i'm gonna do it the next trend that i'm really into and have been into for a while now is sporty varsity numbers on clothes so i have that lilies of the valley 
crochet boob tube and I wish I had it in every color and she's also got like long sleeve versions and I think they're so cute. Peachy Den also have a knitted jumper coming out in two different colorways and it's got PD19 on one of the sleeves and I just think it's a really fun little detail. There are also these shorts that I literally have not been able to stop thinking about. I do really want the set but I just can't afford the set. They're by this designer that is a CSM grad. I think it's pronounced Lucila Safdie. I love like little frills at the end of clothes at the moment. I guess it's like a mini peplum revival. And I just bought this top from Knitwit the label. It's an Australian brand and I haven't bought anything from Australia in years because like I don't need to. And I just think that little frill at the bottom is such a cute little detail and it just makes for a fun silhouette. But these shorts from Lucila Safdie have like little frills on the bum and I just think they're so fun. And I'm just like picturing myself tanned in summer wearing it to like Glastonbury and to like other different festivals or like day events. And I just think they're so fun. So I'm gonna end up buying them if I like, I don't know, make a big sale on Depop or something and can justify it. But yeah, I also just love how it has those like sporty Varsity numbers on them. Another thing that I really want is a city bag. I follow Air to My Earth on Instagram, who's like a stylist. I'm obsessed with her Instagram and like everything she does. And I saw a city bag on her page and I just thought it was so cool. And then there is a city New York bag in the Peachy Den like styling cupboard. So yeah, if you ever see a city bag, that's cute. Maybe it's got some rhinestones on it send it my way. Two last things that are like kind of generic but I feel like make such a big difference to your outfit is bangles and fun socks. I love me a bangle. Bangles are in abundance as well. You don't need to buy new bangles because they're just in every charity shop and just you can get them for so cheap and you can put them like on top of your tops. It just looks so cute and I love it. And then fun socks. I just feel like fun socks elevate your outfit. If it's like a pop of colour, if it's like a different print, if it's like a fun fabric, it just adds a little bit of extra spice to what you're wearing and I really need to up my sock game. Okay, I think that's everything I had on my list. So even just after filming this, I just want to go and have like another deep dive on vintage. Hopefully this will get me through this period of not being able to get dressed. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, leave me a comment below and let me know what it is you're into at the moment. Maybe you can give me some more inspo. And click like and subscribe and see you soon. <laughs>